Hi, my name is Alec, I'm a member of the technical team at Qualifier. On this video, we're just going to briefly talk about spacings and what you need to consider from a design and also a build application. So when we're talking about spacings, you need to look at what your application is. So if we start at the bottom, you'll see here so some service penetrations that are going what we would say directly through the wall. So that means it's had a correctly sized hole um, specific for the fire stopping seal that it's going to use. So when we're talking about spacings here, the consideration is the space between the edge of the aperture. So we say, say for example here, to the edge of this aperture, this needs to be a minimum of 100 mil unless it's tested closer. But you also need to take in consideration any spacing requirements between the apertures that the wall manufacturer might have themselves because they may require it to be much larger. When you want services to be more close together, you want to be looking at something like this, which is what's called a multi-service penetration seal. So for example, here, this is a letterbox. And then the spacing requirements here, what we would look at is the space from the edge of the fire stop seal to say the space of the aperture or the space between uh, another services um, fire stop seal here, or even if it's gonna be two services of the same type like here and the spacings can be different. So in this instance, we've done a test where the QRS fire sleeves can be zero mil, um, but then it needs to be a certain distance away from a cable basket using say this fire stop seal here. So these are the considerations you need to um, consider. All this information will be listed on our detailed drawings. And if you do need any help, please feel free to contact our technical team uh, using the contact details on the screen now.